And you know, we did this fun thing with our with this studio audience today. We asked them, um, we, we kind of asked them to myth bust and take some of the points from the book and mm -hmm. see what they thought about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you, I'll chime in my answers as well, but we're gonna start with the number of meals you eat does not affect your metabolic rate. Is that a myth or a fact? Audience said what? Uh, yeah, of course it affects Six, your metabolic rate, right? Well, 69% of the people said it was a myth. It's actually a fact. It doesn't matter how many, this is the biggest myth really? out there. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. how many meals a day in terms of speed up your metabolism. It's really all about the calories. So whether you get your meals, your calories in three meals, six, eight meals, it's not going to change the rate of your metabolism. And people need to stop thinking, I got to eat, I got to eat seven meals a day. Or am I, I'm going to start to lose more weight. No, no, no. It's not, it's really, you've, you've picked the meal frequency that works with your work schedule. So and, it doesn't matter. And with that, when I was on the program, the mm -hmm. thing that I found best is it was breaking it up because you can have all your calories or certain calories in, in, in one particular meal however with me i spread it out because the longer i wait the hungrier i would get right. and i would the more likely i would be to eat something that right I if you eating. wait until nighttime to eat exactly. you're eating when your body is slowing down exactly and, well, and you're, and you're, you're, you're overeating because you're, you're hungry. typically exactly. overeat when you're you over, wait too long when you're, so, exactly right without a doubt so i mean obviously you just so use some be common reasonable sense. be reasonable, common be reasonable. Sense. Be reasonable. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Uh, cardiovascular activity is the best exercise to help you burn calories and shed fat. Huh, I, I, I don't know. I do cardiovascular basically <laughs> to work out my anger issues and listen to rock music. And then I do some weight training, but I really don't know. Uh, guys? What did the, the audience what the say? Audience what does the audience say? Fat, uh, 86%. Fact. Okay, we all know cardiovascular is important, but with out, weight, weight training is just as important. Weight training is going to allow you to burn calories after the workout, okay? So cardio is just one half of the weight loss process in terms of getting in phenomenal shape. So that is not the only component. You gotta comp combine weight training. I want women to understand that you're not gonna get bulky weight training. Please get this out of your head. You're not gonna look like Arnold Schwarzenegger because you don't produce enough testosterone like a guy. So that's not going to happen. Weight train, weight train, shape your body, shape your curves, and allow you to burn calories after the workout. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? Okay. <laughs> drinking coffee is healthy in moderation. I don't care, you don't wanna know me if I don't drink coffee in the <laughs> uh, Listen, I have, I drink a liter of water at the gym, I come home, I have one mug of coffee. A liter of water, is great. Yeah, and another one when I go to bed at night as well. But, and at work, I drink tea all day long. So, fact, 83%, myth, 17%. Well, they, they definitely got it right. Drinking yep. coffee is healthy and moderate. Yay! One to two cups grass, Woo! one to two cups per day. Don't exceed one to two cups per day. I think five to six is when you're going to get real irritable and insomnia and a lot of different uh, negative things. So, drinking coffee is not a bad thing within moderation. Yeah, you know, I have a pen drinks like 10 cups a day. By the end of the day, you can't be in a room with him. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I can imagine. Ah, yeah, he's I so can imagine. wired, right? <laughs>